In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this very simple model of a jet plane. First thing I'm going to do is delete the default cube. Then I'm going to change the view to the right view and I'm going to go from perspective to orthogonal. I'm then going to add mesh cylinder To rotate the cylinder through 90 degrees, press R on the keyboard and type in on the keyboard 90 and press enter. To scale in the Y direction by a factor of 10, press S followed by Y, type in 10 and press enter. To shape the ends of the cylinder to make a nose and tail, I'm going to go into edit mode. To add geometry, I'm going to click the loop cut and slide button. When you do that, you get a purple line in the middle. If I click the mouse button, it slides. I'm going to enter a numeric value of 0.7, which will put the cut 70% from the center. And that will be three blender units from the end of the cylinder. I click loop cut and slide again. But this time my center has moved, so I can't use 0.7. I click the mouse to slide. I'll have to line up using the grid, three blender units from the end. Next, I'm going to taper the ends of the cylinder. To help see what's going on in the view menu, I'm going to toggle quad view. Zoom in with the mouse wheel in the front view and go into face select mode. Select the front face, press S to scale and shrink that down. I'm going to enter a numeric value on the keyboard. I'm pressing 0.3 and enter. I want to move the tip down. I'm going to press G to grab, followed by Z for the Z direction. And again, on the keyboard, I'm pressing minus 0.3 and enter. Quad view always has a top view, a front view and a right view. But the top right hand window you can change to whatever you like. So in the view menu I'm going to change that to the back view. Zoom in with the mouse wheel and select the back face. Press S to scale and on the keyboard press 0.3 and enter. This time I want to move it up. I'm going to press G to grab, C for the Z direction and move that up. On the keyboard I'm pressing 0.7 and enter. I'm going to go into object mode and I'm going to add a cube to make into the wings. Make sure the 3D insertion cursor is in the center. In the object menu go to snap cursor to center. Add mesh cube. Go to the object properties for the cube. I'm dragging on the edge of the window to make it wider. I'm setting the X scale to be 5 the Y scale to be 5 and the Z scale to be 0.1 and enter. I'm going to select the cylinder and in the outliner window I'm going to hide it. I'm going to select the cube. I'm going to shape it into the wing so I'm going to go into edit mode. I'm going to go into face select mode. Select the front face of the cube. I'm going to press S for scale, X for X direction, and type in a value of 0.1 and enter. Uh, and then I'm going to go back into object mode and redisplay my cylinder. I'm holding down shift and the middle mouse button to pan the model down. I'm going to click the duplicate button to duplicate the wing and press enter. Then I'm going to scale the duplicate by a factor of 0.5 so S for scale and type in 0.5 and enter. I'm going to move the duplicate up so I'm doing G for grab and Y for Y direction and there's our duplicate. I'm going to move it by 6.5 blender units, so I'm typing in 6.5 and pressing enter. I'm going to click the duplicate button and press the enter key. The duplicate tailpiece I'm going to rotate by 90 degrees about the y-axis. 
I'm going to shape the new tail piece, so I'm going into edit mode. I'm going to do shift middle mouse button to pan, and I'm going to go to edge select mode and select the bottom edge. I'm going to pan and zoom in the right view and I'm going to hide the cylinder and if I press G to grab you can shape the new tail piece. I'm going to press Z for the Z direction and I'm going to move up until the base is square. View the cylinder again and we just need to move the piece up so I'm pressing uh, going to into object mode I'm pressing G to grab and Z for Z direction and just moving it up a shade. That's the basic jet plane shape made. I'll show you how to finish off the model in part two of the tutorial.